From being the crown jewel of Liverpool's academy in the late 90s, to receiving a prison sentence of 13 years and 3 months for managing the UK's biggest cocaine network earlier today, the story of Jamie Cassidy is one riddled with tragedy. Alongside Michael Owen and Jamie Carragher, Cassidy was widely considered to be a future England international destined for stardom. In fact, after winning the prestigious FA Youth Cup in 1996 against a West Ham side containing names such as Rio Ferdinand and Frank Lampard, Cassidy was called up by the late Terry Venables to train with the national team ahead of the Euros. Things were looking incredibly rosy at the time, but just as Cassidy was breaking into the first team fold at Liverpool, he had a string of injuries which kept him out of action for 18 months, and in turn completely wrecked his career. As per Jamie Carragher's autobiography, Cassidy would have been a dead cert to become a first team regular at Liverpool if he hadn't done his ACL. Similarly, Gerrard's autobiography suggested that he was jealous of Cassidy as a youngster. As it turns out, while the pair of them were winning FA and European Cups, Cassidy got himself involved into a drugs operation which authorities suggested was the biggest in the UK. This came shortly after he decided to retire from football at the age of 23 and saw him make the sort of money that even his Premier League counterparts would struggle to match. When arrested, police found a Rolex watch worth around £250,000, a UAE residence card, numerous designer clothes and two Asda bags full of cash close to a half a million quid. Although Cassidy himself wasn't directly involved in bringing drugs into the UK, he was the brains behind insurance everything went smoothly once they were in the country. Now, this is the part where things get completely mental. The application the criminals in question were using to communicate with one another is called EncroChat, which is an encrypted communication system often used by nefarious individuals. Somehow, the network code was tracked by French intelligence services in the summer of 2020, with their findings quickly passed over to the UK's National Crime Agency. This is what led to the discovery that Cassidy, along with his brother Jonathan and their business partner Nasser Ahmed, had been conducting their operation undetected for years. It was established by investigators that Cassidy went by the name of Nuclear Dog and was notorious across South America for his ability to get goods into the UK undetected. In the space of just three months, he organized a deal valued at £28 million to bring 356 kilograms of cocaine into the UK, of which he bagged £10 million himself. There was a point where Cassidy was on the verge of buying a £2.3 million villa in Dubai, but falsely believed he was one of the lucky ones whose intro chat had not been compromised so he decided to fly back to the UK, only to be immediately arrested and charged. Had he not done so, he would have likely gotten away with it. Although him, his brother and their business partner have been in custody since 2020, their sentences were only announced today. While Jonathan and Ahmed received 21 years and 9 months behind bars, Jamie, as mentioned earlier, got 13 years and 3 months. The judge overseeing the case stated, Jamie, you are of good positive character and have demonstrated in prison that you have a positive effect on others. Your redemptive behaviour deserves recognition. As a footballer, Cassidy had it all. He was as elegant as he was ferocious, with the wand of a left foot that made him graceful on the eye. His teammates spoke of his exemplary leadership abilities and character, while also revealing that the yard of pace he lost due to being out of action is ultimately what cost him a career at the very highest level. The big learning from this entire ordeal should be that as much as we like to idolize Premier League footballers, the vast majority of folk trying to make it in the sport simply don't, and because they put all their eggs in one basket, they lack the necessary skills to be successful in other endeavors, which so often leads to a life of crime. Personally, I was gutted reading through everything that happened, because nothing messes with my head quite like unfulfilled talent. Do let me know your own take on all of this down below, and I'll catch you in the next one folks. Peace.